everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're here for the very first time, you're really welcome. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Jane and my husband Mike is behind the camera. We're British, early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life on a super tight budget here in Brittany in northwest France. And every Sunday we bring you an aspect of our private life, somewhere we've been, something we do, something that we've made, something that we've bought. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my frugal hobby of quilting. I think it's really important to have a purpose to our frugality, a purpose to our money saving. It's important to us that we have a happy life, that we're doing the things that we love and that we enjoy. And my hobby that I absolutely love and enjoy is quilting. It could be expensive if I let it. So I'm going to share with you today two things. A, a nice easy tutorial of how to make something called a posted stamp quilt and secondly how I buy my fabric. Now I've recently bought some new fabric here in France and I buy very little new fabric, very little at all, but I've discovered that it's really not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. So I have bought some for a project and I will share that with you and quilters watching it will go, that is a reasonable price for fabric, so we can buy fabric at a good price here in France. Secondly, I'm going to share with you how I buy the majority of my fabric and I either get it from um, charity shops, thrift stores or I get it as a Facebook marketplace haul and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. Often quilters will have a destock, they'll get rid of a load of fabric that they don't want or don't need and they will sell it and that's what I bought. So we hope that you enjoy the video, we hope that you enjoy the postage stamp tutorial and we really hope that you'll enjoy the fabric haul that I share with you at the end of the video. With any quilt block we have to start by cutting our fabric and what I love most of all about making a postage stamp quilt is you can take all of the fabric that you don't have very much of random fat quarters that you've got left. I've got here some thrifted clothing that I bought literally for the fabric and fabrics that you're not really keen on. So what you're going to do first of all is pick your fabrics and you're going to need a whole pile of white fabric in one and a half inches by nine and a half inches and a whole selection of fabric again one and a half inches wide nine and a half inches long. Pick them out and arrange them at random. Block number one, you're going to need five coloured strips, four white strips and sew them together. Block number two is the opposite. You're going to need five white strips, four coloured strips and sew them together. So there we have block number one and block number two. And we've got block number one with a colour or print starting first. And we have block number two with a white starting first. And it's important for you to see this. All the seams are pressed in the same direction. All the seams are pressed in the same direction. It will help the seams nest. The next part is to take these blocks and to cut them in this direction and this direction into one and a half inch strips. So that is what we end up with. We end up with a block starting with white and a block starting with a coloured print. And then we're going to sew them together. So we have nine by nine. And I'm going to sew those together and show you them afterwards. It's um, quite easy to sew if you've got them all pressed in the same direction. So I've got to start with the white and I've got to start with the colour. So that seam runs that way, that seam runs that way. So this seam faces up and this seam faces down. And you can see then the seams nest together and it makes them easier to sew together. 
I'm now going to sew a block together. My finished block and if I'm working on eight strips I will make four starting with a coloured print and four starting with a white print but what I do as a quilter is I just sit usually with my iPad on and I might be watching a podcast or something or listening to music in the background and I just sit and sew a ton of blocks first I might sew 10 blocks starting with a coloured print and then 10 blocks starting with a white print and then I'll sit and cut them, I'll put them in the rows and something I've reflected on afterwards so my blocks don't have so much repetition in them which I haven't done in my quilt so far because I'm not a perfectionist by any means is you can literally shuffle them like shuffling a deck of cards to get it to be even more random so that's what I do and there we go there we go again there is my finished block and I'll show you this as well you can see I've pressed it all in the same direction here are my finished eight blocks for the next row so I have four blocks with a colour starting first four blocks with the white starting first I know my next row needs to start with a coloured block and I'm going to get my eight blocks sewn together and then I'll get my row sewn together onto the rest of the top of my quilt. tell you about how I put this quilt together and there are different ways of doing it. You might just want to make a whole load of blocks, some starting with the coloured print, some starting with the white, and just keep going with them and just have a whole pile of these and just keep going. But what I like to do with mine is I make these and I start with a four block in the middle and I go from a four block, that's one block, I go from a four block to a six block and so on. And that means at any time I can just stop. I can think to as well, I've made a baby quilt, I'm fed up with this now. I can give this to a charity as a baby quilt and I can keep going if I want to and it can be a throw or it can be for a single bed or I can just keep going as I'm doing and it's going to be for a double bed. Let's share with you my fabric haul. Um, the first fabric that I'm going to show you is partly brand new and partly thrifted. So let's get going on that straight away. Um, I bought two meters of this printed fabric and you can see it's got a lavender theme running all the way through it. My whole quilt that I'm gonna make with this is going to have a lavender garden theme which has given away my quilt. And I've turned the light down in the room. I've had to shut the curtains because it's so bright, but it's a very bright, fabric. It was £8.95 a metre and it is organic cotton and it is, whether the cotton's made in Spain or printed in Spain, it's Spanish fabric. And to go with it, I bought two fat quarter packs and the fat quarter packs, well they're not fat quarters, they're quarters of a metre. And you can see I have got one metre and three quarters of fabric in this lovely lime green solid lilacs and then again the lavender theme I've got running for this quilt and those were 10.95 for those packs and as you can see I've got two packs of those and to go with this lavender themed quilt I've got some thrifted fabric as well and these huge great big width of the bed bolster pillowcases work out at well over a metre and a half square of fabric and a metre square is bigger than a yard, a yard of fabric, yard square of fabric. So you can see how I blend in 
the fabric I buy with the thrifted fabric as well. Um, it's, it's all great. I mean, these are lovely old vintage fabrics. To go with the vintage style, I'll get to go with that quilt. So that's one lot of fabric for one quilt. So some of this is new, 8.95 a metre, pretty good. It's I think fabric prices are really good here in France. And then I've got a metre and three quarters of fabric here. You always pay more for cat fabric, you just do, don't you? But that's going to go in my lavender quilt sometime in the future. Here's the next lot of fabric that I've got. Some is thrifted, some is brand new. So I bought two metres of this neutral background fabric. It's actually, when I read the writing, it's a story of Cinderella. And that was 8 95 a metre. And then I've got a good strong gingham, again, 8 95 a metre. I've got what I call these traditional kitchen French prints as well. And it's made me think that I really do need to get more grey fabric. So I'm going to keep my eyes open for grey fabric. But this very much makes me think of a, a Christmas quilt or a spring quilt. And I'm thinking of the other colours that I'm going to add in with that. And it's often really good to stick in some florals. So this is some thrifted fabric that I bought and I'll share my thrifted haul next. So again, this is all 100% cotton. It's all really good quality. And I bought it from a French store, uh, an online store. And, and there we go. So there's the next lot of fabric. Again, the uh, quarter packs, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with 10.95. So that's a meter and three quarters for 10.95. You always pay, I just think, I don't know, it's not bad price really. Not a bad price. And it's really good if you're like me and you're a scrappy quilter to have all these options. But I just love the gingham. I love the print and these are some of my thrifted fabrics. The next lot of fabric that I'm going to share with you today is the massive, massive haul of fabric that I bought from Facebook Marketplace. Somebody, for reasons of their own that I don't need to share with you, was basically getting rid of a lot of their craft fabric. And I went kind of at the end of the sale and bought quite a lot, as you can see here. We'll start off with this one here. I bought her rotating cutting mat and she was really underselling it. She, she wanted like five euros for it and I told her, no, I'm, I'm gonna give you 10 for that. I just didn't think it was fair to, to give her so little for it. So, that cost me 10 euros and I was, I've been after one of these for four years. I'll just move that out of the way. Now the rest of the fabric here, if I get my, to scan over this, I've just stabbed myself with a pin there, to scan over this. All of this fabric here in total cost me 70 euros. Um, the lady didn't want it to go for nothing, that was absolutely for sure. And as is her right, it was hers to sell at the price she wanted. Some of this is really top quality vintage stuff. And I was happy to pay that because when I, you can see here, I've worked out the square meterage of everything. And I got here at least 60 meters square of fabric. So I paid one euro 16 a meter. And let's share with you what I've got. I've got here, I mean, this is amazing. This is such good quality. This is an unused king size vintage sheet. And a seven and a half meters square there. Absolutely amazing. That will be, without cutting it, bigger than a full size quilt back. And that's what I use these for. I have here, two sheets and they are in like new condition and uh, this is obviously a big bolster pillowcase cut up and that amounts to nine and three quarter meters of fabric again this is something i will use as a quilt back 
it's two single sizes, so it's not big enough for one quilt back, but pretty good. Let's move that one out of the way. And then I've got here, in all odds and ends, I have some back quarters, Easter back quarter, a couple of Christmas back quarters, some novelty fabric, some Christmas fabric. And this really caught my eye. This is clothing all cut up, but really lovely. So all of this is less than half a meter and that will go into my scrap bags. Over here, I've got predominantly white backgrounds and each of those you can see I've got this one here is absolutely superb. It's got the roses on the background. Really lovely. It will work very well as a big border. Wouldn't work well as a small piece, but as a big border. But I've got lots of these are blending fabrics here. Some pale florals, some pale strawberries, again florals, and one and a half meters of yardage here of bicycles. I'm always after greens and I really love these fabrics. These, these two here, they're so French looking. This one's very, very typical of a Provencal type fabric. And lots of this, you can see here, it's unused, uncut yardage. Some of it, like this one here, you can see it is from a, it's from vintage bedding, but it's, it's not worn at all. None of this is, has got any wear on it. And she was, absolutely fine when I said I'm going to open it up and look at it. You know, some of it you can see it might well be from uh, bedding or curtains but it's it's perfectly good. I love this kind of aqua colour and then I've got some of mint greens. I love those and then a real lime green so I'm not short of greens. The blues I absolutely love. This here you can see it here it's very lovely isn't it? It's a really, really top quality flat sheet. And then here, I mean, just look at the fabric pattern on that. It's got to be 60s or 70s. And it's in like new condition. There is absolutely no wear on any of this. And then I love these Dixie florals. They go so well into quilts. I've got some spotty fabrics, some more florals. And you can see we've still got the price tags on them from when the person bought it. This one, uh, almost three quarters of a metre, is a really top quality French brand. It was a pillowcase and I've cut it all up to kind of get all the fabric out of it. Here at the back here, this is not quilting fabric. This really is like a, um, a very heavyweight cotton. So this one, if you can pan up for me please, Mike and this one next to it. This is going to be used for bag making for fundraising for a local animal charity. I've got some more lavender fabric which will go with my lavender quilt and then we've got some pinks. So I've got pink spotted cotton, a pink gingham, lovely pink floral, this is all yardage and then another pink check so two and a half meters there so you can see here they're all superb vintage fabrics and I did really well for the money I paid for it and and this is how I add this to my quilting to keep the price down I love this I think this is all of the things I bought today I absolutely love that I can see that as a as a uh, binding strip or as a border, I absolutely love it. And there's, there's quite a lot there. So I'm very, very happy with this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your comments. Thanks to all subscribers. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.